המסווה עין בית, בסבנטי סקנד מסווה. הסיווי שמסתבן ומעקריב חורבן עולה ויורד על עבירות מסוימות. The מסווה, to bring a חורבן called חורבן עולה ויורד, which is a variable burnt sacrifice for specific עבירות, על עבירות מסוימות. What are those עבירות? העבירות שחייבים עליהן חורבן זה הן טומאת מקדש וטומאת קדשיו. Speaking here about impurification of the מקדש and its holy vessels. ושבועת ביטוי, which is an oath of speech. We'll see the specific details of that. ושבועת העדות. And an oath of testimony where someone swore falsely. מי שנטמא באב מאבות הטומאות. So in the first category of טומאה. Someone that's in אב אבי הטומאה. Person becomes טמא from אבי אבות הטומאה. כמו שקבענו בהקדמת צדת האורות. ונכנס למקדש בשכחה. And now the person comes into the mikdash, bishchacha, he was shochech, he erred when he did it. Zo hi tum'at mikdash. This is what we mean by being metameh the mikdash. Or, or, she'achal basar chodesh bishchacha. Someone ate sanctified basar meat by mistake, he erred with it. Zo hi tum'at kadashah. This is what's meant by tum'at kadashah. Eating a korban meat <coughs> by mistake. O shenishba shebu'at bitui v'lo kiyemah bishracha. Now here we're talking about someone that swore falsely with an oath of speech. And specifically we're speaking here about someone who, for example, made an oath of speech that I swear that I ate this item. Or I swear that I will eat this item, right? Something that's able for that person to do. And he swore about something that he did and he really did not do it. Or he swore that he would do something and he swore with speech about it. As we see here, a person says, Achalti peri. Or says, Lo achalti. Or I threw an ebon, a rock to the sea. Or I will throw a rock to the sea. And what happened? Now the person either, this is shechacha, either they thought they ate it and they really did not, shechacha, or promised something for the future, swore that they would do it and did not. For that, the person brings what's called a korban olevi yored. As a side important halacha, if a person did not do that on purpose, they are loke. They get malkot for that. Now, the last category here for Korban Olevi Yored, O Nishba Shavuat Ha'edut L'Sheked, swore for testimony falsely, Ben Beshorech Ben Bemezid. So we have four things here. Someone that was Tameh from Av Avot HaTumot, someone that became Tameh, direct contact with a dead body, and entered into Mikdash, that's number one. Number two, eating Besar Kodesh by mistake. Number three, was the oath of speech by mistake or we said the oath of testimony by mistake one purpose four different categories this is what's said in the Torah this is in Vayikra Perek He ונבש כי תחיתה ושמעה כל עלה, או נבש שתיגע בכל דבר טמא, ונעלה ממנו, והוא ידע בהשם, או נבש כי תשבע לבתי בשפתיים, ונעלה ממנו וגומר, והיה כי את שם, which means he's guilty for making this error, והביא את אשמו, ונעלה ממנו, ואם לא תזיר ידו, ואם לא תזיר ידו. The last two portions are crucial. ואם לא תזיר ידו. The Torah and Perekeh mentions what happens with this type of korban when a person cannot afford, right, what the Torah prescribes for it. It says to bring nekeva min hason kibsa, a female from the flock, a sheep or goat, as a sin offering. So if the, if the person cannot, Torah says, bring two turtle doves or two, pigeon, two pigeons. 
And if the person cannot bring that, then the person should bring the choice flower as a sin offering. So here it's called korban olevi yored because it can either be a higher item or lower, right? It's variable. According what to the person is able to afford for this korban. So again, the korban olev yored, the varial, variable korban brought in four different cases. And again, three options of what type of item the person can bring when he transgresses any of these four avirot. Baruch Adonai Amen ve'amen.